here today at IDS 2011 with designer Daryl Carter. And thank you so much for coming. You're so welcome. I'm so excited to meet you. I have to tell you, I'm <laughs> a huge you. fan. Thank you. And thank in you. fact, everybody at the magazine is a huge fan of your work. Awesome. Um, right off the bat, I want to ask you, I mean, obviously your book is called The New Traditional. Yes. And you called it that. But it's also <laughs> been labeled that by lots of people. Yes. And, and do you feel that that's exactly the right, the name well, for it? It's an homage to my first publication. They, they labeled me that. And I think they called me a stylish attorney turned decorator or something to that effect. I don't know what that was a euphemism for, yeah. but anyway, yes. So the new traditional is how they label the, um, on the masthead, and so we kind of adopted that. You went with it. And you yes. believe, do you think this is the new direction I of traditional? I absolutely think so. Okay. It should be. I know that everybody out there wants to know how you made the transition from, from being a lawyer to being a designer, because it's one of those things that people always think about making a career change. I think it's fascinating that you did it, mm -hmm. and so well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got into Parsons, I got into Rhode Island School of Design. Um, my father, who is first generation, didn't think that was perhaps the most intelligent way for me to make money later in life. Right. And he might have been right about that, given Being the Being a good dad, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I understand that now. At the time, it was a, a little bit of a um, fight between us, but um, my apartment got published and I yeah. landed with a cover. Yeah. And I, it was kind of a magical tale. And the phone started to ring and yeah. I was working for my father at the time. And, and he's done chemicals and all things recession proof and uninteresting to me. And I'm the heir apparent. Yeah. And so, you know, me wanting to decorate um, was not that well embraced. But, right. you know, so I needed a national cover in order for him to think that I might have some talent. Make some talent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that's amazing. So yeah. then you just got all these calls and decided to create a business out of it. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Well, good yeah. for you. You know, Thank I hear you. stories like that. That's happened to a few designers I know here in Canada as well. Your work has a very beautiful spareness to it. Mm -hmm. Have you always been a less is more kind of man? Uh, yeah, I would say yes to that. They say a lot of uh, people in fashion um, live in white space because they have to look at pattern all day. I think in yeah. my case, I grew up in a whole lot of stuff in the Did 70s you? that my parents had that I didn't like. So I think I... It was like a rebellious thing. Yes, it's a revenge. Yeah. So how do you, I mean, I know in, in my job as the editor of, of House and Home, I'm inundated with beautiful products coming mm -hmm. across my desk. Mm -hmm. And I find that I end up collecting everything. Right. So how do you stop yourself from getting influenced by all of that beautiful product that's out on the market and all of the colors and wanting to bring them into your space and being so focused? It's, it's, it's interesting because I am a collector of things and don't misunderstand. I have warehouses full of oh, things. They just don't always migrate into the same environment. Right. Um, and working on a variety of uh, commissions, they're ever changing, they're ever different. So the vocabularies are different. So every time I work on a project, I remember doing a job that was sort of Indo-Chinese, and so I started to love that. And, right. and then I worked on something that was very American, and then I started, I, I love all things. So it is hard to edit oneself. Yeah. So typically what I do is reinvent my own environments. That's, that's so you my, change them up yes, all the time? Yes, yes, yes. Do you ever add lots of color? Because you're pretty that neutral is, you know, in the I, I am challenged right now, because I just want for an Hermes orange dining room, but everyone that knows me is like, you're going you're gonna to walk gonna through there out. and lose your mind and yeah. have to repaint it. So I <laughs> just sort of stayed away from that for the moment. Uh, one thing I want to ask you is, when you go to your website, yes. the first thing that pops up <laughs> is a picture of this. That is Otis. Is that your dog? Yes, Otis, my German pointer. Yes. He's gorgeous. Yes, well, he is, I love that you did that because I'm a big animal lover too. Yeah. And I, you've talked in the book about how you believe animals should yes. be part of your home. Absolutely. And how do you do that in an all-white space well, with lots of linen you know, fabric? That's what everybody comments on. You'll notice here, for instance, this is a family house. Right. This is a period Gustavian chair. Right. The client was like, I don't care what you put in the house, but we're not replacing with the kids the textile. So this is actually a faux leather. Right. So it's faux leather on a period on chair. On a period chair. Right. So, it's so mixing you don't have to that. revisit it. And because the chair is so gracious, it can sort of support that kind of intervention. Yeah. Well, that's a great idea. Yeah. And so, for instance, on this couch, do you just drape lots of blankets uh, over it? Perennials. I <laughs> yeah. use indoor, outdoor. Oh. Cushions are removable. You'll notice there's a small seat pad on top yep. there, so that's one way to so you can address wash that. it. So you can dry clean or wash that. Oh, that's brilliant. And um, you know, many of the people who come to me, they have children and they want white space. So yeah. you know, often I'm asked to address just that issue. And you know, I have three dogs actually. Really? Yes, and they roam all about my well, white house. Well, I love house. that. I do think <laughs> any home is better with a pet in it. Yes, I have absolutely. To say. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank coming. You. Thank it's you. It's been lovely thank having you. I want thank you to you. sign my book if yes, you're okay yes, with yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. I've actually. Pick the page. Fantastic. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you for coming. You.